everyone, I'm so sorry I forgot to make an intro for this video, but this is the look I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. I'm first taking this translucent powder by Milani because my eyelids are already set, but I am just running this over my lids so that way the base is not sticky and then all the shadows glide smoothly on top. Then I'm going in with the Milani Everyday Essentials Palette in Earthly Elements. I'm taking this beautiful light tan shade, perfect for the crease. I'm taking it on a Wet n Wild crease brush and I'm just running that back and forth in my crease in windshield wiping motions. This is just a beautiful color and we're going to be starting from light to dark as I do in a lot of my looks because now we're going in with this deep um, like burnt orange kind of color which is just absolutely gorgeous. Probably my favorite color in the entire palette. And I'm taking this a little bit lower on my crease. Again, lower and back and forth in windshield wiping motions. And then again with my Wet n Wild crease brush and just cleaning up the edges. Then I'm taking this beautiful brown shimmery shade. And I'm taking this on the inner and outer corner of my lid. Leaving the center empty because we are going to put a lighter shade right there. So you really just want to pack it down and then I'm going to be taking this like topaz shade, wetting my brush and then applying the shadow. I noticed with this shade it is so much better if you wet it because it just becomes so much more pigmented and foiled and it just looks so much better wet than it does dry in my opinion. So I'm packing that down on the center of my lid and then I decided to go in with this lighter vanilla shade and go on top of my or go take this color on top of my finger and just pat it down right there in the center. Then I'm going back in with my blending brush. This is the brush that I used to pick up that orange color. And I'm just kind of redefining my crease, making sure everything looks blended and nothing looks too harsh, but the color or that orange color is still there. Then I'm taking this light vanilla shade and just highlighting my brow bone. And then I'm going to be applying some falsies. These are the Salon Perfect Lashes in 614 with the clear gel. You can find those lashes at Walmart as well as this Hard Candy Primer, one of my absolute favorite primers. You guys probably have seen this in my drugstore favorites video. I love that primer. Then I decided to try out the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. If you guys want a review or demo or both on this foundation, let me know. I decided to keep in some clips of the foundation and how it applies in this video. I have used the foundation probably like a good five times now so I have formed a pretty good opinion on it what I think about it so if that is a video you are interested in seeing just let me know in the comments down below but so far so good I like the covers that it gives me right now I definitely would recommend it to people with more oily skin if you have dry skin not so much but again let me know if you want a more in-depth review on it so I'm just checking it out here in the mirror making sure everything looks blended out and it's looking so good. So far, so good. So we're ready to move on to concealer. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, probably hands down one of my favorite concealers by far this year. And I'm just using my Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge to blend out my concealer. And because I thought this foundation was a little bit too light for me, I decided to take my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, something like that. You see it right there. This is a bronzing makeup base, and I just decided to run this at the top of my forehead, my cheekbones, and then my jaw, just to kind of warm up this foundation. I don't use this product a lot because it's super expensive. I bought it while me and my husband were on my honeymoon, just as like a little treat. So I don't use it often, but this helped a lot with warming up the foundation. And if one side of my face does look more swollen than the other, that is because I recently had my wisdom teeth out, so that is why, and I was finally able to wear makeup after like a week and a half. So now I am just putting on the RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm going to be baking. First, I like to pat out my concealer to get any creases out, and then I will go ahead and put the powder on top. I always like to pat out my concealer to make sure there are no creasing because I don't want to set the creases. I want to set it when it's nice and smooth and blended out. So I put that under my eyes. I put that around my nose, my forehead, my smile lines, my chin, and then right underneath my contour or bronzer just to kind of get that more defined contoured look. This powder is absolutely wonderful. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. It's really, really great. 
Then, let's see, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Best day ever. Finally, I get to wear makeup, so it sure is the best day ever. So, now I am just, let's see, wiping off the powder. It's pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, I am just taking all this powder off. I realize that with this powder... Though, the more I play with it, I don't really like it so much, especially after this video, how it looks underneath like a contour bronzer. It just looks too white for me. So, I wasn't crazy about that, but to set my under eye with, it's awesome. Then, I'm going in with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, one of my faves. And then, the Real Techniques uh, Bronzing Brush. And I'm just using this on the high points of my face. Basically, I'm putting it everywhere where I set my like cream bronzer by Chanel. That's pretty much everywhere where I'm putting it. So once, once, once I am done with bronzer, I put it even on my nose. I'm taking the Smashbox palette that was, I think, holiday. So I don't know if it's still in store, but I just mixed a bunch of colors in this palette. I really love it. I got it at Ulta. So if you guys can get your hands on this, definitely thought it was a good deal. Blushes are super pretty and pigmented. Then I'm taking one of my drugstore favorites. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Such a gorgeous highlighter. If you haven't seen my Best of Drugstore 2016, I will link that video down below. And then you guys can let me know if you guys want me to do like a high-end favorites. But this highlighter is just absolutely beautiful. I love it for like a nose highlight because it's not super intense but just perfect. Then I'm going ahead and going in with this burnt orange shade on my lower lash line and then blending it out with this brown shimmery shade. Then I am using a NYX liquid suede lip color on my lips. I forgot the name of it, but all items will be listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys all in my next one.